Welcome to the world of digital audio. In this segment, I'll be giving you a brief overview of digital audio. How exactly does digital audio work? Now, to convert analog audio to digital form, we use a process called sampling. What sampling does, it records the volume or voltage of audio at a very specific time and stores it in a file as a number. The number of samples per second is called a sample rate. According to the Nyquist-Shannon Sampling Theorem, the sampling rate needs to be twice as high as the maximum frequency which you want to reproduce. For instance, as you see on this figure, the waveform has been captured twice per period. See the red dots here? Now even though the sample points don't exactly match the high and low of the period, the frequency is still accurately represented in the recording, but the volume will be a little bit off. But what happens if there are fewer than two sample points per period taken? As you see here in blue, there is only one point per period and as a result, not only the original high frequency has been lost, but a new low frequency has been created. This nasty effect is called aliasing. Aliasing is bad news, but we've got some good news. Your software and hardware do take measures to prevent aliasing when recording and processing audio.